Once again, good afternoon, everyone. We're so pleased to see you and to see our contestants here for the Grade 5 Spelling Bee. Um, this has been a tradition for a very, very long time. The school that you're sitting in now was built in 1876. Um, it was moved over here to its present location in 1963. And before that time, it was just a short way away where the West Side Library is located. So you have won competitions in your classrooms, and your grades. So when we look out at you, we know you are all winners. We wish you the very, hello. Okay. <coughs> this is Lourdes from the Davis School. Very good, just in time. So we wish you the very best. Um, Ms. Connors will tell you probably a little bit more about the rules, um, how the winners are determined. She is the associate principal at East Middle School, and I thank her so much for being here. She's your moderator. Our two judges are Maureen Donnarumma, a teacher and an extended day coordinator at the Kennedy School. Thanks so much for being here. And Mr. Mark Lindy, who is the Brockton Community Access person. Uh, you will see this broadcast on Channel 98. Uh, we, we can let you know when that will happen so you can see the spelling bee pictures in the broadcast. He is also our Southeastern Regional Representative. So I thank them for taking time from their busy schedule. I'll turn everything over to Principal Connors and to everybody. We're so glad to see you. Welcome again, everyone. This is my second or third time. I can't, I'm old. I keep losing. I forget how many times I've been here, but I love it. It's probably one of the greatest days, um, it's especially being a middle school associate principal, getting to see the fifth graders that are going to be coming to our middle schools in Brockton is very exciting. Before I go into the rules, I'm going to ask each of you to stand up, face the audience, and nice and loud, introduce yourselves. Okay, we'll start with Olga. Go ahead, Olga. Hi, my name is Olga. I'm representing the school. Thank you. Nice. Go ahead, Nikki. Hi, my name is Nikki, and I'm representing the R name. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Kurt and I am the representative of the George School. My name is Kurt and I am representing the Hancock School. Go ahead, hold it. My name is Kurt and I am representing the Honey Pigs. My name is Amy and I am representing the Kennedy School. Thank you. Very nice. And thank you again for bringing them here today. Let me just go over the rules. I went over the rules upstairs with the contestants, but just so you all in the audience know um, the process that we'll go through. I will say the word. The student whose turn it is says the word, spells the word, and then says the word again. Once the student says the word for a second time, that means they're finished. That's their final answer. So I've instructed the students upstairs that if they have any questions, for example, they can ask me to say the word again. They can ask our judges to have the word defined. They can ask our judges to have the word used in a sentence. Those questions have to be asked before they start spelling. If they are spelling and they realize, oops, I've made a mistake, they can start again as long as they've not said the word for a second time. That second time you say it, remember, that's the button you're pushing for your final answer, okay? If one word eliminates everyone, then we bring everybody back in and start again with another word for that round, for those people who are still um, qualified for that round. In order to be declared the winner, the student must spell the word that is given to him or her at that time, as well as an additional word. So it's, it's almost a, a two-word qualification. I think that's everything. I will ask you all to speak up. It's an old building. There's a lot of creaks. 
and every little movement in here sounds much louder than it is, okay, except your little voices. So make sure you speak up. I have to hear you, and our judges have to hear you. And of course, you want your, your friends and family who are here to hear you as well, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Olga, your word is question. Question. Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N, question. That is correct. Nakeem, character. Character. C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R, character. Correct. Abuke, your word, finally. Finally. F-I-N-A-L-L-Y, finally. Thank you. Aiden, different. Different. D I F F E R E N T. Different. Flores, automobile. Automobile. A U T O M O B I L E L E. Kurt, chalkboard. Chalkboard. C H A L K. Mama. Correct. Dora, 40. Yes. I am not 40 years old. 40. 40. F O R T Y. 40. Very good. Thank you. Holda, your word is stomach. Stomach. S T O M A C H, stomach. Very good. Aiden, your word is fashion. Fashion, F A S H I O N, fashion. McKinley, your word is generosity. Can you put that in a sentence? Okay. Bill Gates is known for his generosity. Generosity. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Emma, the word generosity. Generosity. G E N E R O U S I T Y. Generosity. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Olga, the same word to you, generosity. Generosity. G. E N E R O U S I T Y Generosity. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Nakeem, we're gonna same word, generosity. Generosity. G E N E R O S I T Y Generosity. That is correct. Abuke, your word is lawyer. Lawyer. L A W Y E R. Lawyer. That's correct. Aiden, obedient. Obedient. O B I D I E N T. Obedient. Sorry, that is incorrect. That's the same word. Obedient. Obedient. O B E D I E N T. Obedient. That is correct. Kurt. 
Her word is banish. 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 B A N I S H. Banish. That is correct. Dora, Dora, your word, manufacture. Manufacture. M A N U F A C T U R E. Manufacture. That is correct. Hulda, your word is sketch. I will sketch a picture for you. Sketch. S K E T C H. Sketch. That is correct. Aiden, your word is carnival. Carnival. C A R N V. Can I use over? Yes. Carnival, C-A-R-N-I-B-A-L-E, Carnival. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Nakeem, your word is carnival. Carnival. C-A-R-N. Sorry, that is incorrect. Abuke, your word is carnival. Carnival. C A R N I V A L. Carnival. That is correct. Lords, your word is soldier. Soldier. S O L D I E R. Soldier. That is correct. Kurt, your word is waltz. Waltz. W A L T Z, waltz. That is correct. Dora, your next word is anxious. Anxious. A N X I O U S, anxious. Correct. Holda, your word is fragile. Fragile. F R A G I L E. Fragile. That is correct. A bouquet. Your word is immediate. Immediate. I M E I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Lord, your your word is immediate. Yes, can you speak up for me? Okay. Immediate. I am am e t i e t e immediate. That is correct. Kurt. Your word is breathe. Breathe. <coughs> B r e a t h e breathe. That is correct. Dora. Your word is design. Design. D E S I G N. Design. Correct. Hold up. Your word is liquid. Liquid. L I Q U I D. Liquid. Correct. Lords. 
Your word is original. Original. O R I G I N A L. Original. That is correct. Kurt. Your next word is harmonize. Harmonize. H A R M O N I Z E. Harmonize. Correct. Dora. Your word is patriot. Patriot. P A T R I O T. Patriot. Correct. Yeah. Hulda, your word is foreigner. F O R E I G N E R. Foreigner. That is correct. Here it is. Your word is handkerchief. In a sentence? If I were wearing a suit, I might have a handkerchief tucked in my pocket. Sorry, that is incorrect. Kurt, your word is handkerchief. Handkerchief, H-A-N-K-E-R-C-H-E-I-F, handkerchief. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Dora, your word is handkerchief. Sorry, that is incorrect. Halda, your word is handkerchief. A handkerchief. H A N D K E R C H I E F. Handkerchief. That is correct. Keep standing. Spell this word correctly, no pressure. <laughs> your word is nowhere. That is correct. We have a winner. Well done. Nice job, everyone. You should be so proud of yourselves. Thank you all so much. You should be so proud of every one of them. Very well done. It's nice to be with you today. Thank you very much. We're done? Thanks, Ms. Connors. It will take us just a minute. I'd like to speak to the judges, and I'd like to speak uh, with my colleague here. We clearly know who the first and second place winners are, uh, but we're going to confer on the third place. So we'll be right with you. We're so pleased that you were all here today. Um, we have gone over the first, second, and third place winners here, um, and we don't have a tie for third. It came very close. Um, first place was Halda Fernandez, and Halda, I'll meet you right on the other side. Uh, you'll be receiving. Uh, We're giving her a gift certificate to Paperback Junction in Easton, right on Route 138, so she can choose a book or something in that store that she wishes to have. Congratulations. Come right over. Congratulations. Uh, the second place winner is Dora. Dora, come up please. Dora Duval. And our third place winner is Kurt. Uh, would you come up, please?
and congratulations Thank to you. you. If you would like to stay, um, there are some refreshments upstairs. If you wanted to grab a cookie and some juice on your way out or take pictures, please feel free. Thanks very much, and I hope to see you all back here again next year. Let's have one more round of applause.